Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q. If your shower door is like mine, gravity has started taking over. The shower door is shifted to the right here. The gap up here is smaller than the gap down here, showing you that right now. You might be able to hear a little bit of noise. Easy to fix. Grab some shims from your local big back store, grab your Phillips head screwdriver, and this will be a quick fix. Let's get going. All right, grab those shims. I'm putting a couple shims between the two panels of glass and two down at the bottom. The ones at the bottom are definitely the most important. Once you've got that shimmed, you are loosening the screws on that hinge. It's a clamp hinge. It is a clamping force between a rubber gasket and that glass. I had to loosen the bottom hinge just a little bit. Again, I'm not removing these hinges. I'm just barely loosening them so there's a little bit of a grip. Now I'm watching that gap. You're gonna see the glass close towards the wall and then I back it off just a little bit. Once I do that, the glass is a lot more even on the top right there and the bottom right there. Now that I've gotten that done, all it is is, I'm, and again, notice I'm holding onto that handle and I'm tightening both of the uh, hinges, the top and the bottom, and this job is done pretty easy. All right, like I mentioned earlier, the biggest gotcha on this is when you're rotating the glass back towards the wall, do not allow it to remain in contact with the metal part of the hinge that's right along that wall. Once you rotate that door a few times, you're gonna probably crack the glass. So just give it that little bit of gap it needs. That's it for this edition of How To Q. There is a new YouTuber out there. My nephew, Sebastian Holkren, just started his channel. You can find his link down in the description. I would love for you to consider subscribing, leave a comment. If you learned something, please like. That's it for this edition of How To Q. We'll see you next time.